After the devastation and destruction left by Tropical Cyclone Winston in February 2016, there was hardly any disaggregated data available on people with diverse suggest, otherwise commonly referred to as LGBTQI people. During the earthquake in Nepal, there were campsites designed for men and women, but we gender minorities people faced challenges to access those campsites. At that time, you know, many sexual and gender minorities community developmental health issues. Humanitarian systems need to change the way they talk and think about gender issues. These systems must be accountable to those they serve, especially those at greatest risk. The report starts with lived experience from crisis and disaster responses, but it really shows there's a system-wide problem here, a problem of policy, a problem of awareness, of planning, of funding, of training, of a lack of partnerships. The call for action was historic because it reiterated that we are leaders, that we must use a Sajiesi and feminist lens in all our humanitarian work that we were similar, yet we had unique needs. One size doesn't fit all. The question is not how people should fit into the system's mechanisms and methods, but how it extends itself to cater to those at greatest need. We want to be understood and that data should be collected strategically and sensitively. We need protections and that our needs need investment. Change is possible. It's not always easy, but it is possible. This report provides tools and starting points, but most importantly demonstrates the need for new global and local commitments. As the title says, the only way is up. So let's start. <laughs>